I collected a list of orcs that I encountered during Shadow of War. The variety is truly fantastic. Of course, some are better than others, though no doubt you'll find the ones that appeal to your own sick twisted sense of humour and will enjoy fighting with and against them in the hope that they drop more dank lines. Probably the most boring ones for me are where they just repeat whatever's in their name. So, so sweet, so sweet, so wonderfully sweet. That's not to say they're without their appeal though. I like it. While some quickly get annoying, others began to grow on me. Crush's enthusiasm in particular won me over and he defended many checkpoints for me during the duration of the game. Don't know what this is about. Good for you. Look out. Look out. An honourable mention to one word. Unacceptable. You sound super boring, but whose delivery of those single words kept me in suspense until the final syllable? Uh, insignificant. Oh, and Screamer, who you can see here on a stealth mission. <laughs> The next class of orcs are ones whose names describe what they look like. The Horned Lord is a more boring example, but there are many gems as well. Take this flashy looking guy who hates others who dress to impress. Ugh, you look like a show off. I hate show offs. A lot of the orcs are suitably grotesque and deformed and fully aware of the fact. This twins guy believes he's twice the orc because he has two heads. Indeed, a lot of the orcs seem to have had time to dwell on their appearance. Some have even come up with plans on how killing you will help them look prettier. I'm going to grind up your corpse and make a cream from it. Uh, nothing weird though, I'm just going to smear it all over my face. Props to the Only texture artists for the maggot and worm textures. I wouldn't fall. touch some of these orcs with a barge pot. This guy even has a random low level orc who introduces him to the player. He's going to kill you. But I'm the one who's going to have fun with all the leftover bits. Now we're getting onto the really interesting orcs. There's this guy who spent so long obsessing about the towers in Mordor that he's decided to dress up as one and proudly remarks in battle how stable his foundations are and how he's still standing after all this time. Flesh Lover obsesses about all the horrible things he's going to do with your skin and also wields a nice meat club. The Ghoul Lover really loves ghouls and enjoys dramatically voicing their opinions in battle. For the sake of my beloved ghouls! The ghouls cry out! They came from the sky! You get bitten by these spiders and this low budget version of Spider-Man appears. I was bitten, bitten by the spiders of Mordor and I liked it. I have embraced their venom, I have embraced their call, I am one with the spiders. I reckon the orcs are designed before their names and themes are chosen for them. Take this guy for example. See these two lads here, to me left, to me right, they have a very specific plan for you. Could just be armour, but you know a dev saw him and thought, hmm, we can make this part of his identity in some silly way. And I know I've seen this guy with scars used for different purposes. I think one of them implies he's good at counting or keeps track of his kills or something. And this guy here is a poisoner, but uses the same outfit as another orc nicknamed Smuggler. Orcs can, and will, change their identity as the game progresses. With the Smuggler guy, I couldn't convert him, so instead shamed him, which lowers his level down a bit. This can have several different effects. Here's his outcome. The others mock me. No one takes me seriously. My life is nothing but burning misery. Kind of feel sorry for him. Sometimes shaming orcs doesn't work and they become more powerful than I could possibly imagine. Like this guy here. Remember me? You tried to humiliate me. You left your mark on me, but it didn't work. Instead of shame, I felt pride. I embraced the mark and was reborn. And some orcs annoyingly come back over and over again, even after you've burned, stabbed and beheaded them. Their body takes a toll until they look really pathetic like this one here. And I've got to mention the main characters who all have quirky personalities. While I skip most of the cutscenes in games, I did watch any with these guys in because they are very entertaining. You have this cowardly, comedic but quite helpful guy that players of the first game will remember well since he drove quite a few of the missions in Shadow of Mordor. You have your best friend, this guy. I can't be the only one who was very disappointed. I mean, before the game came out I was under the impression that he was just one of thousands of orcs like him that you'd meet, 
when in reality he has been given special attention by the devs and you won't find his level of complexity elsewhere in any other orc. Regardless, he's pretty awesome and I love having him as my faithful bodyguard. Wouldn't it be a shame if he was to die or something? And lastly, there's this guy, who isn't featured that much, but who I've grown rather sympathetic towards. And now for my favourites. The orcs that go above and beyond the normal to be memorable and entertaining, and often in very bizarre ways. The obvious. I'm gonna give you a splitted headache. Because I'm gonna hit you. In the head. And it'll hurt. Like a headache, only worse. Good think. I'm not like the adults. I'm a thinker. I think good. And I think hard. Harder than all the rest. And that's what makes me the most bestest. Remember me now and hear me later. I am the absolute bestest. Zuka, the drunk. We both want to kill each other. So one of us will be dead. And I think it will be me. That kills you! This guy who'd do well as a soothsayer from Monty Python. But one thing I do know, long as there are living things, one of them is going to want another one dead. And that's my business. That, you could say, is the reason I am here. Me and this club are neck and neck in a race to kill pinkskins. We only need one more each to get to 50. Now he's gonna win by killing you! I'm guessing that this is a reference to the rivalry that Legolas and Gimli had in Lord of the Rings. The slippery guy's super ability is hard to spot, but I hope the ragdoll physics were intentional with him. And how could I do this video without featuring the singers? Your fight just went from bad to worse. You face it all. Who speaks in verse? Tra la la la. You may have heard of one like me. He prances and dances and sings with glee. Wherever the strife, the singer is there. He slaughters and slays with such merry flair. I sing this song with all my breath. Take heed, for this interlude ends with your death. You bet I got him to join my side. Uh, I don't know when we'll meet enough. again, but I'll be ready and you'll be... Daddy. I later rescued him in a mission and he rewarded me with even more wonderful lines. You know the singer is one who sings. The singer song was about to end. I know now that I can depend on you. So, that's some of Shadow of War's orcs. They serve as a wake-up call that maybe it's time the bad guys in games got this sort of detail more often. And finally, a last little reference to Assassin's Creed that I noticed. 